Morning YouTube, welcome back to Lincoln Logs TV. Beautiful winter day this morning. We're actually uh, first of March finally. We're hoping we'll turn the corner, getting rid of some of the snow. It's supposed to be 45 degrees outside. I feel like I haven't seen the sun in three weeks. It's been pretty dreary here in central Indiana, uh, but that's gonna change. It's time of season is, is, is upon us to get, get a little bit warmer and maybe we get some fishing in this spring. So uh, today, I wanna get you guys in on a little little project in my own kitchen. I've got this loose cabinet door. It's been off and on loose for a couple years. I keep tightening the screw and of course it's it's starting to get stripped and every couple months it just gets loose. You know, it gets just gets some activity, a little bit of wear and tear. Uh, so we're gonna show you how to fix it for about a dollar with a toothpick. All right, uh, real, really fun little simple thing you can do and save yourself a bunch of money instead of ha having a handyman or your contractor come out uh, this one's easy this one's real easy anybody can do it you can have a uh, maybe your, your your little kid help you with it just to get them a little bit experience to have some uh, fun inside when it's you know <laughs> snowy and you're a little bit limited so uh, so appreciate you tuning in stick with me uh, a little five minute Friday deal we'll, we'll be through this one quickly so what you're gonna need for this project is pretty simple um, you need a knife all right, with a sharp blade, you can actually use a steak knife. I mean, we're only gonna cut toothpicks. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, but I use just a razor knife. You will need a little bit of wood glue. Um, and I mean a little bit, like one little drop of wood glue for each hole. Uh, I, I like tight bond. I get it at Lowe's or I also get it at my, uh, my lumber supply. Don't use Gorilla Glue, regular gl Gorilla Glue on this um, because it expands so much and it doesn't sand well. It's really hard. Um, I don't know if it's a resin base or it's a really kind of a funky, uh, funky glue. It's really strong but it's not good for woodworking applications. And if you get it on bare wood, it stains the wood and it will affect how your finishes on the wood um, work. It's really kind of a, uh, I think more of a hand, like a do like a general purpose glue. Not, I, I don't really think it's made for woodworking. Um, however, I think Gorilla Glue does make a woodworking glue, which would be just fine for this. It's, it's non-staining, it's very similar to this, water cleanup. So um, uh, wood glue and the big secrets. All it is is just a couple toothpicks. Um, you may, meet, may need two or three of these things. Um, they're just regular cocktail toothpicks. You can buy a pack of 150 of them at, at your grocery store for a dollar. All right, so here's the door. Here's the cabinet door. See, it swings this way. All right, so this screw right here, the one I'm pointing at right there, always comes loose, all right? You can see the hinges not tight. I do come in there. I'll tighten it down every now and then, and it just keeps coming loose over time. What's happening is the threads on the screw are fine. The head on the screw is fine. It really just ends up that the wood on the inside is just worn out, and the threads on the screw don't have a whole lot to grab anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that screw out. We're going to take that screw out as well and take the whole door down. So we want to, we're going to put our toothpicks in this hole and that hole up there, right there, that one. We want to make sure we get it in. And it really is really fairly simple. I want to dry fit a couple toothpicks in there. I want to make sure that it's not going to be too much. And remember that hole is only about a half an inch deep, so they don't need to go in there all the way. And what we're going to do is we're going to glue this up on, on a paper towel below it. So we'll take these out, glue it up, and then after it dries for about an hour, we'll come back and cut it flush to the frame of the cabinet with our uh, utility knife, and then we'll be ready to put the door back up. So let me show you how we uh, glue these things up together. So it looks like two is going to be just fine. It, it'll give me plenty of holding strength. It'll fill those holes real well. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to break these in half. You see that? I'm going to break it in half so I can use two for the top and two for the bottom. Um, talk about frugal. I don't want to spend money on more than two toothpicks on this project, right? <laughs> All right, so we're going to take our wood glue. All we need to do is just get a little bit out of it and put it on the uh, paper towel. Um, be careful, there's nothing important underneath it. These are quartz countertops, so I'm not worried about anything getting stained. But that's all the wood glue we're going to need for this. See that little dab? I'm going to take in two ends, put them together, just kind of roll around in the wood glue. Doesn't have to be super messy. I'm just going to take it up, find the holes, a little bit of squeeze out there. I'm going to do the same thing for the upper one. All right, a couple toothpicks, just rolling a little bit of wood glue. Nothing crazy. All right, it's going to get on your fingers a little bit. We're going to take it up top. We're going to jam it in that hole too. All right, see that? So that's what it should look like. A little bit of glue coming out. Make sure they're in there all the way. You really can't press them too hard. If you do, they're just gonna break and that's fine. They're still gonna stay in there. So um, yeah, so we'll be back in about an hour to uh, cut those off, clean that excess glue up and put the door back on. All right, so you can see now I've got the, the toothpicks are all set up. It's been about an hour, maybe an hour and 20 minutes. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break them off first. 
All right, see it's pretty smooth there. I probably don't even need to cut anything back there, but if I wanted to, I could take my razor knife, and just kind of shimmy down a little bit, just get that excess off of there, try not to damage the face of the cabinet, you know what I mean? So it's real easy, the same thing up here. So if you want to just cut it, just kind of saw away at it a little bit. Nothing too crazy, see that? Nice and smooth. And then now it's simply a matter of putting the door on. Uh, I'll take these screws and I'll pre-set them and then take them back out before I put my door on, just so it's easier to get the door on. But really you can see, see that? Nice and full, pretty smooth, pretty flat, and that will hold the screw for a really long time. We're back on there now. Nice and tight, super tight in there. Uh, screws in good shape, uh, wood's in good shape, nothing split, so it really was easy. Honest to gosh, this, this took maybe 15 minutes. It really, very simple project, uh, very easy, and it costs virtually nothing. So we're done, uh, really simple project. It may take you 15 minutes, uh, cost you virtually no money. If you have to buy the, the, the glue, it might be five bucks for a halfway decent tube of glue. Really not that big of a deal. Using some things you have around the house and toothpicks. Just kind of a little little hack that we use in our industry to kind of just make things to work right and make it easy. So um, really very simple. Hope you got something out of it. Uh, really appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, if you have any comments, hit a comment. If you have any questions, uh, anything like that. If you have any product questions about you know what kind of glue, where I buy it, and things of that nature. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, please hit the subscribe button. A lot of the success of this channel is going to be on you guys. Uh, a lot of it will be if you like what you see. If you have ideas for something you want to see, let me know. I, we do a lot of different projects, a lot of different things throughout a given year, and it's really kind of our uh, kind of our, 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 our joy to help people with this stuff. So if you have an idea, shoot it at me. Shoot me a comment. I'll, I'll, we'll put something in the queue. We'll, we'll create a video for it um, to teach you how to do something. All right. Uh, we have a huge week with the company um, this week with Fitzgerald Construction. Construction group, my company, uh, we're finishing up a really big, about a four month long attic uh, project. It was really a, a, a really neat project in the old north side historic district of downtown. Uh, very long, detailed project, really neat bathroom. And uh, we're going to do a walkthrough on that. Uh, we'll have about maybe a 20 or 30 minute walkthrough uh, video coming up here. I'm going to film all that later on this week and introduce you guys to my crew. My guys that are on site every day with us. And uh, it should be pretty interesting. It, it's a really neat project and very, very uh, unique setup. Um, mostly because it's 35 feet in the air. Uh, really, that's kind of the logistical challenges of it. So hope you guys have a great weekend. Tune in next week. We'll have another Friday, uh, five-minute Friday, and we'll get that, uh, that walkthrough video going on that big project. Thanks a lot. Have a great week.